Hello, Thrifty Food Plan channel friends. Thank you so much for visiting. If you are new here, my name is Jay and I am sort of the creator slash facilitator of this little YouTube community we're building together. So this is my first batch dinner um, from the 10 day grocery haul I did a couple of days ago, which I will link above and below. And somebody recently made a comment that my my recipes are refreshingly simple, something like that. And this is one of those things where I'm not quite sure it's a recipe and I'm going to share it with all of you. And please feel free to use what works for you and leave the rest. And I'm making one of my favorite things to eat. I am making an enchilada bake. So let's get to it. Let's do our ingredient run through very quickly. Uh, so I've already got chopped up about a quarter of a red onion, kind of a smaller dice. This is some leftover frozen carrot, I had carrot, corn that I had uh, in the freezer, the last of what was in the bag. It's kind of an optional ingredient. A can of pinto beans. I need to uh, strain and rinse some enchilada sauce my faux cheddar cheese, some tortillas, and this getting very wilty at this point spinach, which I'm gonna saute down until it gets really small. There's about half of that bag left. So these are all the things. Oh, these are instant mashed potatoes, but they're for the dog. <laughs> all right, so, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I don't know, dice up about half of this yellow pepper. All right, and then I will show you how to make it. Preheat your oven to 375. All right, we are going to assemble this yumminess. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my enchilada sauce. I'm just gonna pour a little bit into the bottom. If you're worried about stuff sticking, you can put a little bit of the like spray in here. I'm not doing that right now. Just gonna put a little sauce on there. And then, serious, <laughs> this is the simplest recipe ever. Corn tortillas, you know, the kind that come in like a 30 pack. Put two on the bottom like that. Then we're gonna layer in some goodness. So this is my sauteed spinach. It just gets some greens in and to me, spinach has the least flavor. Like it's not as flavorful as like a collard or something like that, which has way more flavor in my opinion. Put some spinach in, and I'll put some peppers in. A lot of onion. I do like a lot of purple onion. You be you. Don't use as much onion as me if you don't like it. <laughs> a little bit more in there. All right, and then I've got corn just by happenstance, so I'm going to do a little bit of corn. And then beans. I did wash my hands first. That is an important thing to note. I would also say that um, I usually do make this with black beans, but if you are familiar, um, last month I bought a two pound bag of dried black beans and I ate that, I ate black beans on my salad almost every day for a month. So, um, I'm taking a little break from the black beans. Right now I'm just putting a little bit more of the enchilada sauce on. And then we're gonna do another layer of corn tortillas. So I just like lay one down and then I kind of rip up the other one and just kind of 
haphazardly try to make it work. Wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's a bake. They're not actually rolled, <laughs> right? All right, and then I'm gonna put a little more enchilada sauce on. Because really, let's be honest, it is mostly about the enchilada sauce flavoring. Okay, I just licked my fingers, but it is only me. I would wash my hands again if the college phenom were here. All right, then we're gonna do a little more. So we're gonna do another layer, more spinach. You might be able to do this with frozen spinach. I've never actually done it with frozen. That's not true. I've done it with like frozen cut leaf spinach in a bag. I've never done it with like the frozen spinach that comes in a box that's a square. I've never done that. But frozen cut leaf spinach in the bag, I have made this with that before, so you totally could do that. You also could leave the spinach out if you are really opposed to greens. All right, we're gonna get the rest of all of our stuff in here. Again, I am heavy on the purple onion. If you are not an onion lover, use less. And the last of the corn. The corn will add a little sweetness, so it's nice to have, but it's not essential. I'm putting it in because I have it. <laughs> All right. And then the rest of the beans, again, one can of beans. You definitely can do it with black beans. You also could do it with a cannelli bean, probably a great northern. Wouldn't recommend limas or black eyed peas. And then no big surprise, I'm gonna go in <laughs> again with another layer. Another layer of the enchilada sauce. And I'm gonna to top it off with two more tortillas. All right, and then I'm just gonna pour what is left of the enchilada sauce on top. All right, so I did have my, my oven preheated at 375. So I'm going to top it with some tin foil and cover it. I'm gonna cook it for 20 minutes covered. And then I'm going to put some cheese on top and cook it for another 10 minutes. Now, I'm not going to use as much cheese as maybe other people, but you'll see that part when we get there. All right, this is going in the oven, 375 for 20 minutes, and then I'll take the tin foil off. We'll do the next step. All right, my enchilada bake has been baking in the 375 oven for 20 minutes. This is what it looks like at this point. Now, I've got a quarter cup of faux sort of plant cheese here, which I am just gonna sprinkle on top. Use more cheese if you want more cheese. Use less cheese, use no cheese. Kind of whatever works for you. I just like a little sprinkle, a little sprinkle on mine. So I am going to put this back in the oven uncovered for another 10 minutes. So while we are waiting for it to cook, finish cooking, let's talk about the cost of this dinner. It will make four servings. That can of enchilada sauce I got for $1.25. The can of pinto beans, 71 cents. Half of a bell pepper, 54 cents. You could do it a little cheaper with a green pepper, but I don't love those in anything but chili, oddly enough. Quarter of a red onion, 17 cents. Half of that bag of spinach. It, it was half empty, so I used about half of it to make the dinner tonight. $1.15. 
about a quarter cup of corn, I'm guesstimating. That priced out to 12 cents. Plant cheese, quarter cup of plant cheese, 50 cents. And then six corn tortillas, 45 cents. And total to make all four servings, $4.88 per serving, $1.22. So a pretty good bargain meal. Okay, my enchilada bake has come out of the oven. I'm gonna let it sit for five to 10 minutes just to sturdy up a little bit. This, uh, I think this is like a nine by nine Pyrex. It makes four servings. So once it's uh, cooled off and set a little bit, I'm gonna scoop out a quarter of this and have it for dinner. Yummy, yummy. All right, just so y'all can see what a huge serving this is, that's like one of the really big dinner plates. <laughs> so that is a huge serving of food. And I've got myself some lemon water and a little salsa just in case I need it. But let's sit down and give it a taste. All right, friends, I am very hungry. So I'm very excited to have this. Am I the only person out there who, you know, still uses a napkin? <laughs> Even when it's me, I always sit down and with a napkin and all the things. Um, I don't know, does anybody else do that? So I am really, really looking forward to this. I have been craving Mexican food. Mm. That's really good. And for me, that enchilada sauce is spicy enough that I don't think that I'm gonna add any of the salsa. So this is my yummy, yummy dinner uh, for tonight and three more nights. I am curious uh, to know uh, down in the comments below if you all have Mexican dishes like this one that like, cause enchiladas typically are, you know, rolled up and smothered in cheese and the sauce and all that. And so I make it really differently cause I eat differently. Um, but are there other dishes that are supposed to be made one way and you make them another way and kind of innovate to make it work for you and, and, your dietary needs or your budgetary needs. I'd love to hear about that down in the comments below. Thank you for watching until the very end. Do hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, do all the little things you can to help our YouTube community and do put your comments down in the chat below. Thanks so much for visiting.